guys, welcome back to our channel. We hope you guys are doing great today. So last week we encountered a hurricane as you guys saw, but then after the hurricane we had a lot of work to still get done and you guys know that we were having a huge issue with the refrigerator and that is still happening. <laughs> yeah, so we initially thought that the pump was, the raw water pump was bad and that the reason why it wasn't working and there's trip in the breaker was because the, the motor or the compressor wasn't getting any water. So we replaced the pump and then it turns out that- That didn't work. That didn't work. So we inspected further and found <laughs> out that the motor was bad because it's a belt driven compressor. And so that was an issue. So what happened was the motor wasn't, it was, the bearings were bad. So it would just yeah. it'd trip the breaker right away. And basically. it was so difficult finding a place that worked on these types of motors. So that was a bit of a challenge yeah. trying to find a place that would just even look at the motor. Yeah, because it was a, a smaller motor. It's only a half horsepower and it's an electric DC motor. So mm -hmm. that's a pretty niche thing uh, for a lot of people. You know, usually they work on like tra lawn mower motors yeah. or tractor motors or things like that. And there we found a lot of motor repair shops, but no one really did electric motors, yeah. let alone tiny electric motors. So we finally found a place that was like a little hole in the wall. That was like an hour away. And obviously you guys know we don't have a car, so it was really hard. So we had to rent a car. Done. Rented a car. How's that going? Then just picked up the rental car and now we are back going back to the boat. And then we have to get um I have to pull the motor out. He has to pull the motor out and we have to bring it to a motor shop to get it rebuilt. Here we come, Brett! We're coming to save the day! helping Breck tie up his boat and dock it. And then he gave us a little tour of, or a big tour of his boat and it was beautiful. Oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. So now we have to go rip out the motor. So I'm taking this motor off of the compressor. It's held on by these little nuts down here. to drive the to, motor to the shop. To the shop. So we found this rinky dink motor place that would take a look at the motor. So we dropped it off and then uh, we left to run some other errands while we were out and about. Just dropped off the motor and now we are going to get food because I'm starving. And I haven't ate today and it's already like almost 1.30. So the first place we went, we went to was uh, West Marine. We had to try to find some different parts for the heads because one of the heads was leaking. I always have fun in West Marine. <laughs> and Nikki's crazy and she was running around the store trying on the the biggest foul weather gear that she could find or <laughs> the fluffiest or whatever. We're about to go look at some foul weather gear and I already found the one I want. All right, show us. I'll try it out for you. You know, you gotta, you gotta have the pants, right? <laughs> These look about my size, don't they? How big. <laughs> I mean, look. I think it's a little too big and for you. I think you gotta have the um, jacket, right? I don't think that fits. I think it fits. Snowman. You know, you look like you look like an astronaut. Really? <laughs> 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 so. Oh, you gotta make it entertaining somehow, right, guys? I entertain myself quite well. Yeah, and um, even the employees in the store were coming around laughing and trying to, sh they were they were escorting her <laughs> to the clothes that were even bigger than the ones she was trying on. They're like, oh no, you have to try on these ones. So Don't mind these, those ones. They brought to, me to this ones. like giant um, inflatable suit. Was it an inflatable suit? It was, it was uh, <laughs> what was it? It was like a, a PFD, <laughs> but it was like the entire body suit that they use in like the Alaskan was, king crab I fishing. I was like, I have to try this on. I got stuck yeah. a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> so they didn't have our parts either that we needed. So we they had to order them, so I just decided to order that online. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with this grapefruit beer that I found at um, Epcot in Disney World. So we came all the way back to Germany to enjoy this wonderful grapefruit beer that is absolutely so good. awesome. Finally got it because it's amazing. I swear, it is the best beer I've ever had. Maybe it's because it doesn't taste like beer. It tastes like grapefruit juice. And I love grapefruit juice. <laughs> So that could be the reason why I love it so much. But anyways, Austin over here found where we could we could get it. Yeah, they sell it at Total Wine. I was so excited, guys. You don't even understand how excited was I. 
Oh, you were freaking out. We found our grapefruit beer. I'm so excited. How many do you want? You want I want them all. Four? I just Five? want them all. Just get them all. I'm gonna be ordering a lot more of it online and having it like shipped in containers because I need more of this beer. <laughs> our boat's so. gonna be uh, grapefruit beer only. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's that's all we got. No, so. just kidding. It's not <laughs> he likes his IPAs, but um, so we got some of that. Austin got some cigars because that's what he likes. And um, then what did we do? Well, it's hard to smoke the cigars because these damn no see them are everywhere. And you, the second you walk They're outside horrible. and you want to do anything, they just start just like eating you alive. So we got the beer. Grapefruit beer, here we come. I'm so excited. Now we are on our way to the spirit store because I have to get blood. Blood in liquid latex. We still had the issue with the refrigerator, so we didn't have a cold place to put food. We were trying to use, Rhonda and Bruce allowed us to borrow their cooler, but the ice would melt so fast that it really, our food would go bad, so. Well, yeah, I know, like, the water would get in the food, and it was, it was just, just It was a mess. So we decided to suck it up and purchase a little mini fridge. So we went to Walmart and got a little, <laughs> little mini fridge, and we jammed that sucker with as much food and water as we could. Yep, so we still are, it's 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 okay. It's coming along. It's it's coming along with that. We're on our way to go get some new sheets. Fun stuff, guys. So we're going to Costco. Some things are not to be. We're new for sure. Good one, good time. We got lots of goodies, which I'm really excited about. I got new sheets. So, yeah. About to have some wine time and grill some steaks. I'm so excited about my new wine glasses. I got them at Bed Bath & Beyond and they're like really hard plastic. Which is really cool. But yeah. Chef Austin in the house. How's it going? It's good. Yummy. I'm so excited. I'm hungry. Steak dinner tonight. Check it out. Yummy. It's going down. I don't know the song. Okay, it got me really pumped, guys. <laughs> so then, um, then we had a lot of organizing to do. We stripped some of the teak because we were waiting on these parts to get in before we could actually like work on the things that we needed to work on. So we we're like, while we're waiting for these parts, we might as well get some cosmetic stuff done. Yeah. So Austin and I stripped the teak. I did a lot of organizing. I think we both did. Yeah, Nikki basically reorganized everything. I mean, we pulled. Today is all about organization. I'm kind of an organized freak. So I literally will organize the crap out of things. I will organize so much where everything will fit perfect and I will not stop until it is amazing. So I'll show you guys what I did. So in my little cabinets, I have tons of these and they fit and they stack together so you can store all types of food so you don't have cockroaches. Laying eggs in cardboard. That will come out of the container. I just put it in there for now. Um, but that is what I have so far. But I still have all these cabinets to organize. So it is going to be a long process to get this boat in check and where we need it to be. Every spare part, every basically just pulled everything out of the part out of the boat. 
and we pulled it up and we went through it and we made lists of what it was that we had, what we need, what we don't need because the person before us kept a lot of stuff that weren't even working, like dead motors and stuff. So we threw some things out. And that was a little bit we of kept a some, We kept other things <laughs> and we reorganized it and we put it, we took it out from under the bed mm-hmm. and we put it in, you know, somewhere else. And then Nikki also reorganized the kitchen. She got all that done. And yeah. lazarettes and everything. We just reorganize everything because organization is key. It's huge. I mean, if you're not organized, especially on a boat, I think organization on a boat is so important because if you don't have places for things, it's so easy to get so disorganized. And I'm a little OCD, so when I'm disorganized, I go a little crazy and my mind doesn't work like it should as efficiently. For me, organi- organization is such a big part of my life and you wouldn't think it right now if you looked in the boat because it's still a disaster. I condensed a lot so we have more space to put things and especially in the lazarettes I took out everything and just categorize like categorize them and put things where they needed to go and it was just good. Moving right along the, the other issues that we face are the chain plates we have to get them refiberglassed and the mizzen uh, forward chain plates that's a big deal the refrigerator We've pretty much got that covered. We're waiting on the new motor to come in, mm-hmm. and uh, that's pretty much it. Some things need to be recocked, but that's not a big deal, and we're almost ready yeah. to, to get going. It's just a couple more things that we have to repair, and, and we're ready to yep. head out. You know, everyone in our marina is gonna be heading out pretty soon, mm-hmm. and so are we. So Good. next so. time, we're still gonna probably be repairing some things, and, <laughs> yeah, and eating more ramen noodles. So, yeah. so we are planning to leave here within the next month. Just about a little over a month, a month and ten days or so, we're going to be leaving. So we have some people flying in who are going to be sailing with us, mm-hmm. and we're really excited about that. Yep, I think we're both really excited to just get out of here and go see some blue water that we can jump in. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. <coughs> Bye, guys. Oh, yes. Ow, ow, those freaking nose seams are biting the crap out of me. It was like... Somebody flew my ear! What? I don't know if it's actually in my ear, but it felt like it. Okay. Save the little turtle. He's gonna die. It's your family. Are you okay, buddy? I think he's blinking. Oh, he's blinking. He's alive. Oh, his arms are coming out. He's okay. Oh, he's looking at me. He's on the move. I repeat, he is on the move. And he is going fast. No fear.